Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Life with Lisa A. I just wanted to discuss two things with you since I'm making not a homemade um, uh, Alfredo sauce today, but I just wanted to discuss the difference between Alfredo and carbonara. Alfredo sauce is made with butter and cream. That's your base and it's cooked on the stove top. And it's a lot of cream and it's butter. Um, and, you, and you put Parmesan Reggiano in there. Your carbonara is not really cooked. You use a little pasta water and you do it while your macar your pasta is hot. You drain it, you keep a little of the water, you put it right back on the stove top and you use egg yolks, egg yolks. So the base of the carbonara is egg yolks, pancetta, and um, a little Locatelli cheese or Parmesan cheese. That's it, that's traditional. You could add a little cream, yes you can. But the traditional way is just pancetta, egg yolks, black pepper, and like your um, either Locatelli or Parmesan, that's it. And it's not really cooked. You just put it on your stove top and you just cook it in that heat like that with your hot macaroni. That's what cooks it. And it just sticks to the um, macaroni. Where versus your Alfredo sauce is, is the cream base. Cream and butter and you cook it. You could put wine in it. You put garlic in it. You could put a little parsley. And, um, and, and, and that's really the difference. Um, today... I'm going to be using jarred, my phone, I apologize. I'm going to take that phone call. Today, we're going to be using um, jarred, it's, it's because you know what, we're going to be doing a short, short, oh my God, I can never say shortcut when I want to, but we're going to be doing a shortcut uh, dinner tonight for mothers or fathers on the rush that, you know, you got to get dinner on the table and, you know, it's, it's been a crazy day, hectic day, pull out that jar of Alfredo sauce. You have a rotisserie chicken, break it apart. You can take frozen peas when you're cooking your macaroni of choice. I'm going to be using fettuccine. You can put the peas in the last five minutes. You don't even have to cook the peas because they will, from the heat, uh, cook down. But for the last five, ten minutes of cooking the macaroni, uh, I should say five minutes, I'll be putting the peas in um, so they can you know, to cook a little bit um, that way. And then I'm just going to be adding the Alfredo sauce. I'm not even going to cook it. I'm just going to dump it right into the hot macaroni on top of the, the stove top uh, with the peas. And I'm going to be using pancetta. You could use bacon or you could use pancetta. The differences between pancetta and bacon, is it's like an Italian bacon is the pancetta. It's they're both cured. One is salt cured. That's your pancetta. Your smoke curd is your bacon. Um, you could pretty much, it depends, really substitute one for the other. Um, but if you wanted to substitute um, bacon for the pancetta and you want to get rid of some of that smoky flavor, all you have to do is boil it for like two to three minutes on your stovetop. And that will take away some of that smokiness. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And this is really a short, it should be like a three to five, other than cooking your pasta. Just throwing, you're just dumping everything together, stirring it, dishing it out. It's really quick. So as long as it takes for your macaroni to cook, as long as, as this recipe should be. All right, bye. Hey, guys. So this is pancetta, okay? It comes in different forms. You can get a thin slice. You can get one big, massive chunk and just dice it like this yourself. It comes in individual little packs like this. It comes in one big square. Uh, you could get it diced, you could get it cubed, and like I said, you could get one big solid chunk and just dice it yourself. But look, shortcut. I had a view a view a viewer, if I could spit it out, asked me to make a sort of homemade Alfredo sauce, jar Alfredo sauce. So this is the one I recommend. This brand, you can get whatever brand you like. This is a this is a, if you're gonna make jar gravy, this one was not too shabby. Um, this one. And again, guys, but if I could just say, if you want to open up a jar, to make homemade Alfredo sauce is so easy. You get a couple a couple cups of cream, you put it over a sauce pot, warm it a little bit, add your butter, melt your butter down. As soon as it's done, take it off. The, you can add a little fresh uh, squeeze of lemon if you wanted to. But you take it off the stove top, add your pepper, and add your, and add your uh, Parmesan Reggiano, at least a couple cups of that. And guess what? Stir it. And you have homemade Alfredo sauce. It is that simple. I promise you. you. Just cook it for a few minutes on the stove top. It's that simple. But anyway, let's get back to jar stuff. So we're going to use jarred gravy. Well, it's not gravy. It's Alfredo sauce. Okay. That one along with pancetta. And again, if you don't want pancetta, that's fine. Um, use your um, bacon. And if you want, you can take... Uh, your bacon and boil it to get some of the smokiness or just don't. Okay. Now I'm just going to get a little piece of dog hair off me because my dog jumped on me. She's a labadoodle. She's not supposed to shed. And I got the one 
whatever jeans in her shed to sheds like crazy. So let me just get that off me. Um, cause I skeeve like that. So I'm going to be cooking. So let me go take care of that. I'm um, actually, I'm going to change my shirt because she just hugged me. So let me go do that and we'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm going to put a little bit, very little olive oil in there because pancetta has its own fat. I'm going to try one of those halves and see if that's enough to do a pound of fettuccine. Um, and normally, your Alfredo sauce does not have pancetta in it. Your cabanera sauce has pancetta in there. Let me say it again. Home, whether it's homemade or jarred, Alfredo sauce does not have pancetta. Cabanera sauce has your pancetta, which you can substitute for bacon. Um, however, tonight I am using jarred Alfredo sauce, but I am putting pancetta in there. So, I think you want to know something. Um, we're going to do both sides. And this whole package is four ounces. So, we'll just throw it all in there. Okay. And you could eat this just like this. This is this is uh, safe to eat. This is cured. Okay. And like I said, the only difference is was um, this is salt cured, bacon is smoke cured. Uh, cured. So, okay, we're going to just... Uh, let me higher my flame a little bit. It's going to be like a, a medium. We're just going to brown this. Okay. And then I'm gonna, I have rotisserie chicken. I'll show you what it looks like. I already um, took it off the bone. I pulled it apart. So I'm going to brown this, then I'm going to add the chicken in here just to heat up the chicken. In this pot over here, I got my water starting to boil for my fettuccine. Then, guys, we're just going to pop the lid. I'm going to stick it in here, and when my macaroni is done, I'm going to drain my macaroni with a little bit of the water. I'm not going to really shake it like crazy to get every drip of water off. I'm going to take a little bit of that water and stick it in here. And... So the heat from the chicken and this and the heat from the ma hot macaroni is going to warm this up. And don't forget I got the peas. Um, we're going to use sweet garden peas. Frozen sweet garden peas. And I'll just throw them in the last couple of minutes. And you guys, you guys will eat this like prosciutto. You know what I'm saying? And this is so, it's so smooth it just melts in your mouth. When it's like this, that fat just melts in your mouth. So, all right, we're just going to get this like bacon. Okay, this is starting to cook nicely. And guys, again, this is so quick for when you're in a rush. Seriously, how easy just to pop open the jar. And you don't have to do the pancetta, guys. You just boil your macaroni, dump this right in there. Well, you boil your macaroni, right? Last five minutes, add your peas. When it's cooked, just drain that. Drain this right into, once you drain your macaroni, add this. Then it's cooked in literally however long it takes you to cook your fettuccine. I started to throw my chicken in before I showed you. This is what it kind of looks like. Like you see those slices right in there? Those little pieces. That's just what it looks like when your pancetta cooks. It gets brown like bacon and runners all the fat out. Let me put the light on. Just like that. And I'm going to continue cooking a little bit longer with my chicken. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so the chicken is with the pancetta. And uh, guys, I'll tell you what, if you want your kids to eat a full meal, their vegetable and their protein, right here, here you go. I promise you, the kids eat their peas, because you know what, the, the sauce, every kid usually likes cheese, right? And Parmesan cheese has that smoother flavor, and it's just so good, I promise you, with the chicken and the pancetta and the peas, you will get your kids to eat their, and, and kids like pasta, right? They will eat this. Even your little picky eaters will like this. Try it. And like I was saying, um, it's definitely a time saver for sure. Absolutely. Big time saver. You could get the dinner on the table. If this takes 12 minutes to cook your macaroni, in 12 minutes you have dinner. Okay, guys. The last five minutes I'm going to um, add some peas. They're frozen. Oh, not too many. Maybe half the bag. This is a 16-ounce bag. Because, you know, I don't want the whole dish to be peas. Just a little bit. Get your veggie in. And, guys, if you want, this is box fettuccine. One day we could do homemade um, homemade uh, macaroni. It's just, if you don't need it, you could put it in a food processor. Okay? You could do it in a stand mixer. 
or you could just do the dough by hand, which is just, it's going to be flour. Forget the semolina and stuff like that. Just flour for, for usually for, um, well, it's going to be a base, but usually for fettuccine and most homemade macaroni uh, doughs, a base macaroni dough is, is flour, egg, egg yolks, salt, and um, a little bit of water and just uh, olive oil. It's that simple. And you don't even need a cutter or a bread machine. I have an adapter that goes on my KitchenAid. Um, you know, but you could do it by hand. Back in the day, my great grandparents used to do it by hand. And they used to drape this the uh, macaroni over the side of their table and just let it gravity pull it down and pull it down and pull it down and just keep doing that over and over. But if you do have something to make homemade uh, pasta, we can do a recipe on that too. Hey guys, that jar did not pop. So we're going to have to go get another one because I'm not going to use a jar that, that did not pop. But this is what I was saying. Right now, if it, I would be pouring it over this mixture right here. This is your chicken, your pancetta, your macaroni, and your peas. Um, and it's funny. You want to know something? I had two cups of heavy cream in my house today, but I used it for a whipped cream uh, for dessert. So... We will not. Now I'm kicking myself in the butt for doing that. Because I would have had it. And I even was going to save one cup. I said, ah, no, nah, let me use it. But anyway, so right now, I'm not going to show you. But you would take your jar of Alfredo sauce, dump it in here, and stir it. Guys, guess what? Since we had to go get more cream, this is only butter and garlic. I'm just, it's two cloves of garlic. Since I had to go get cream, I thought, what the hey? Let me just make homemade Alfredo sauce. Because you guys already saw the jar. What's the point? You know to do that in a rush. If you really want to put dinner on the table quick, you could do that. Or you could just do this. All right, guys. I'm going to show you how we do Alfredo. Okay. I'm going to go get my um, cream, my butter. Guys, you can use uh, a cup of heavy cream, a cup and a half. I'm doing two cups of heavy cream. And you don't normally melt in butter, but I was not going to go do the oil and, um, you know, have to wash the pan and do it all over. We're just going to go with the flow. So we're going to just bring this over a low, medium, just warm this. I want to add any kind of salt and pepper after the fact. Now you add, I'm adding about six tablespoons of butter. Okay. I'm just going to melt this down a little bit. And then I'm going to add my um, cheese. I'm using, again, Reggiano cheese. You know, first of all, guys, you don't have to do the garlic. Okay. You don't have to put garlic in. You know, we're, we love garlic here. You can, but you don't have to. Normally, you do not. If you were doing... Carbonara, you would put uh, pancetta in. You could use garlic, but um, it's not it's not no, something you normally do. But it's okay if you do do it. Some Italians do, some don't. Doesn't matter. I don't do it all the time myself. Tonight I'm in the mood for it because that's what the jar said, right? The jar said garlic, so we're doing garlic. I'm putting in about a cup and a half. This is good Parmesan Reggiano. I want to do that. I may just do uh, um. Three, a cup and three fourths. You could go all the way up to two cups. I wouldn't go past two cups. But I'm going to do start with a cup and a half. And then, um, let me put this in. Oh, let me melt a little bit more. I may just do uh, a cup and th uh, three fourth cup. I want to see what my husband wants tonight. And you know what? You could put a little drop of nutmeg in this when you're done. I don't think I am. Uh, maybe I will a little bit. So I don't have fresh garlic. I only have the jar of garlic. If I have fresh garlic, I would definitely do it. But all right. So now this is the Parmesan cheese. That's it. How simple is this? This is Alfredo sauce. This is it. This is your Alfredo sauce. You add a little salt if you want, but be careful because this is very salty. If you add fresh pepper, and you just cook this for about a, another minute or two. And then... You, because it was a mix-up tonight, right? Because the jar was closed, uh, popped open already. We didn't know that. So 
I already mixed my um, fettuccine with my chicken and bacon, not ba a pancetta and um, peas. So once this gets a little thicker, I'm going to add my fettuccine mix to this pan. You always add your macaroni, your pasta, back to your pan. Lower that a little bit. This is gonna get thicker. And this cheese is gonna melt down even more. I'm gonna actually taste it now. I learned not to put metal in here, because that could really burn. Perfect. Okay. That was a cup and a uh, half of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna put a little bit more butter. Let me lower that a little bit. I think another tablespoon of butter. And this is a very rich dish. Very rich dish. A little bit goes a long way. You just want to coat your macaroni. Okay. And so I'm going to go get a pinch of nutmeg. I will do that. Hang on. Guys, I want to actually put it in my hand first. When I tell you, if you could see what went in there, that's it. That is it. Nutmeg is very strong. Guys, we're going to add this back. And then I'm going to put pepper on and salt once this is all mixed together. This is it. Guys, I'm telling you, it smells amazing. That Parmesan cheese is what makes it. And the butter. And I told you there's a um, an Italian dish made with Locatelli cheese, which is your Pecorino Romano, a ton of black pepper, and butter. You could pay a, a lot of money for that, um, even in Little Italy in New York City. This is, now I'm going to finish it with a little uh, parsley. I don't have fresh parsley. I had some Italian flat leaf parsley in my freezer. So I'm going to just put a little bit of that. You could use dried, whatever you want. But guys, here it is. I don't want to keep making a mess all over my stove, but here it is. Fettuccine, alfredo, homemade. Did you see how quick that was? Seriously, that was literally, what, three minutes to put together, right? If three minutes, that's all it was. Can do me a favor, call Anthony. Uh, he's calling me on his what? tablet, on Snapchat. Guys, I'm sorry, my grandson's calling me. I'll be back. Guys, here it is. I added black pepper. And I just dished it out. Um, there it goes. That's your chicken, your peas, your pancetta, your garlic. And you saw how quick it was to make the Alfredo sauce. So, ladies and gentlemen, why wouldn't you? Instead of opening up a jar, why couldn't you do that? It was so simple. And it's so <laughs> delicious, honestly. But if you open a jar, that's fine. Okay. Have a good night. Bye. Okay, here we go. Here's my bite. Mm. So much better than a jar. Homemade, quick, simple, easy, delicious, and authentic. And kids will love this because you've got that cheese. So you can sneak that little peas into them. And a sweet peas too, you know what I'm saying? But that's good. And with the chicken, and you, it's a shortcut. It's rotisserie chicken, guys. You could, you could actually grill your own if you wanted to. But why not use rotisserie? It's just going to be... Mixed up with all those other flavors anyway, with the pinchata and the alfredo sauce. Definitely, your kids will eat this. If not, let me know.